Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 2. That's been about a week and a half since I last played the game uh, due to a business trip uh, putting me a few states away and unable to uh, do any recording, so I'm very excited to get back into the swing of things. I have been playing for probably about half an hour, just sort of uh, doing some logistics stuff and getting everything sorted out, uh, ready for our, our next fight. Uh, we got squad two here all healed up. Uh, squad one actually all healed up as well, but they're a little bit short on ammunition at the moment. Uh, we do have our newest uh, gaggle of recruits here. I won't even call them a squad yet, but they're all loaded into an ice cream truck. And I've also gotten them uh, drop some supplies, namely a lot of ammunition. And so they're going to be heading to meet up with squad one. I'm going to go ahead and get them underway. I'm thinking uh, I'm going to move the ice cream truck to like right here. And then instead of going into Alma right away, I'm going to have several of the characters disembarking and uh, heading on foot the few sectors south to meet up with them here in Belim. Um, so that'll take them about two and a half hours to get there. It'll be just after nightfall All right. when they arrive. And in the meantime, while we're waiting on them, uh, we're going to be checking out Squad 2 and making a little bit more progress in Grum. So uh, these guys are all healed up, uh, mostly rested up. I think Ira and Gasket, uh, mostly just Ira and Gasket, might be a little bit tired still, but it should be okay. We've got some militia to strengthen our ranks, so I'm not too concerned about how things are going to go here. Also, um, it's 8 p.m., so we've got about an hour until darkness hits, and I think I'm going to go ahead and assault during the day. Everybody's got some relatively long-range assault rifle action going on, uh, with maybe the exception of Mad Dog. That's really more of a carbine. But uh, we should be able to do some damage from a distance, and our militia will help screen for us. And the last time that we tried to do a night op uh, against the elites of Didrana, it didn't go... Oh so well, they threw way too much mustard gas at us. I wasn't super excited by that, and I would like to avoid it in the future. Uh, so we're going to go ahead four. and have these guys move out. We'll advance time just a second and there call will be reinforcements. Fighting. We will be ready. All right, I'm glad to hear it. I'll go ahead and go to sector here. We've got 12 enemies versus our seven mercs plus 20 militia. Uh, so with the water below, I really doubt there was anybody hanging out in that sector uh, we can expect reinforcements to be coming from the north and this is largely like a compound as we see a fence here and also coming along uh, on the eastern side kind of cutting it off so we're largely going to need to make entry through this uh, gate right here so I'm thinking like a southern drop-off point makes the most sense and as soon as we get them into the sector we don't want to switch goggles and then drop backpacks yes. Yes. And then I'm going to start spreading I'm out just a little What's bit up? here. You got it. Ready. Present. And we'll get all these yes. guys kind of Is online yes. and ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't look like the militia okay. are too interested in moving you forward on their ear. own. Let's see. Flash presser. What's up? A four ready. by a seven by. So Razor actually has the best optics out of anybody here. So I'm thinking I'm going to have him looking around so he can see like a, a pretty decent distance, really. Uh, some of that's obstructed due to tree line stuff in the way. But so far, I'm not really seeing anybody outside of the compound, no? So uh, it looks like all of our threats are going to be in here. Hmm. Probably largely inside the building. Only a dozen guys, so hopefully nothing too outrageous. And uh, okay. probably going to have the reinforcements coming in from the north being a pretty big problem for us, actually. Well, there we go. Spotted somebody at least. Ready. All right, so Razor, you can see him. You got my ear. Ira, he is out of your range by two tiles. Okay, so tell you what, one, two. Let's go ahead and move up a little bit. If I understand yes. correctly, um, and I'm pretty sure that I do, the way that the scopes work um, as Present. kind of to, to mirror real life, but uh, also as sort of a gameplay shortcut, 
is they effectively yes. reduce the range that you are from the target. Uh, so all of the bad things that happen due to being uh, a long way away kind of go away. What's up? Uh, so that is why the effective range of the weapon sort of gets better and all of the negative sight penalties that come with shooting at somebody super far out sort of yeah, yeah. disappear. Now he's going to be way too far for him. So yeah, so uh, Mad Dog, we're largely going to end up putting you on maybe like you got it. flanking watch and just have you over Ready. here. And Razor's really the only one with a chance of getting a shot. He's got 55 AP to take a single shot. So we can move up to like here, turn, crouch, and 51 AP left for like 50-50 odds. All right, good shooting, pal. Everybody else, I'm uh, not super thrilled at. Uh, even max aimed, it's like a 15% chance. Hmm. Well, we'll go ahead and start throwing some lead down range. This is really yes. what the uh, daylight combat usually turns into for me. Uh, a lot more yes. wasted shots just due to uh, the, the distance from your targets. When you start spotting them, they start spotting you. The bullets start flying. We did pretty well there. I got this guy down to wounded. I think we hit him four times. He's, of course, going to immediately radio for backup. And then run along, trailing some blood. So we got characters coming out of the building. And then I'm also expecting... I've got one beautiful mess here. Mm. I'm also expecting uh, some of those reinforcements from the north to start popping in. Uh, usually after the radio call, it still takes them a couple of turns, so like they arrive in 60 seconds or so. I do sort of wish, and I think it can be tweaked in the INI &I files, but I'd say for a more realistic approach, uh, it should take longer. You know, it takes five minutes for you to move sectors when you've got everybody loaded up with packs on and you're at the edge of the sector walking into the next one. So... It seems like to me that between the time you get a radio call and the time people would start coming in would be 10 or 15 minutes, really. Um, it's not like you'd get the radio call and Ready. people would just immediately start sprinting in your general direction without like taking any time to organize themselves. Or yes. um, man, Can't quite see from back here, huh? All right, well, let's go ahead and move you up a few steps. Drop back down, waste some AP. Let me get off another shot. Yes. Okay, I can't see anybody. Present. Yeah. Alright, we'll mostly shoot at the standing guys. He should be just generally easier to hit. What's up? Mm, can't see anybody. You got my ear. And more at the standing guy. Oh man, out of effective range. I'll tell you what then. I may hold off on her and hope for some interrupts, although it might also make sense to get her with ineffective range. No, I don't think that shot's got to be blocked by something, likely this sawhorse here. Uh, so you know what? I'm just going to have her aim in this way. And uh, she'll just wait for either of these guys to maybe move a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. Um, likewise, Mad Dog, I'm going to have you move up a little bit and kind of hang out over here. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I've been on... Uh, whoa. Yes. Like a quick reactionary force type thing. And even, you know, if it's your job to be the guys responding to any calls it's not like you do it instantly What's up? we were trained for drills where the ideal was being like loaded up into a vehicle within two or three minutes uh, to say nothing of the amount of time it would take to then get the vehicle where you needed it to go all right dead meat so this is turning into uh, a fairly concentrated fight here. It'd be an excellent time for like a 203 mate. grenade launcher, like off of one of our assault rifles. But uh, also we really just need to hold them for a few turns until the far more aggressive militia start arriving. And they'll be a lot more willing than I am to charge right in there as, you know, they're computers and they don't ponder their own existence and what it might mean to die so they're uh they're pretty willing to risk it all for glory 
which I'm okay with. Yeah, there we go. And they're already popping off some fully automatic rounds in support of us. That's pretty cool. What's up? Hmm. You got my ear. Yeah, and so uh, you know, in that quick reaction force uh, topic, I think it makes the most sense to just walk up crouch. There we go. Um, the characters in the neighboring sectors, you know, they're not even really a reactionary force. Like they're there guarding those other sectors. So it's not like Present. they're just absolutely ready to drop everything and get over here. Hmm. Okay. At least a little bit. Yes. And but it's kinda I, I don't know if it's the range or the armor getting better. But uh, we're starting to do a lot more, like, yes. really insignificant amounts of damage. Uh, like, single-digit numbers, which aren't really the way to get a guy dead. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. I do actually have stun grenades, but I don't have anything that shoots stun grenades. Hmm. I was mostly looking to see what he might be able to do on a fully auto like a seven round burst. Yeah, something. I probably emptied like half his magazine, Ready. but you know, it's something. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. That's something. And pass again. And then start returning fire. But they've got to realize the writing is on the wall, right? Like. Uh oh. The writing is no longer on the wall. We showed them. I was about to say, after all, there's only six of them. Oh, crap. Oh, double crap. Well, at least that tree took one for the team. Uh, and we are about to get a very unpleasant surprise. Hmm. Alright, so those are the reinforcements from the north. Uh, they look to all be elites, unlike the red shirts that are stationed down here. And uh, that is, of course, always cause for concern. But uh, I already know that they have uh, a nice little surprise for us, even among their elites. Yeah, okay. About half the militia is sort of breaking off. A few are staying down here, but it looks Ready. like maybe even the majority of them are heading up there. Now, um, it hasn't kicked off the dialogue for it yet, but I already know. So this character has a name that is currently uh, hidden from us with the question marks, unlike most characters where we uh, see that. Which means he's actually an NPC that we can talk to. And there's only one such NPC that we can talk to that attacks us like this. Uh, so we're about to get a surprise and a blast from the past, as that is a character from Jagged Alliance 1 that uh, has been hired by the other side. What's up? So if the game was to have mini bosses, he would probably be one of them. Oh, come on, Gasket. You gotta aim a little bit higher, buddy. Oh, man. Really, this is the second round like that. Present. Aim in, miss, and take one shot off the cuff and just nail it. Hmm. Let's go for this guy in poor condition. Hopefully put him out of his yes. misery. Alright. Dimitri at least sees one. Ooh, very close. Yes. But horseshoes and hand grenades. All that jazz. Close. Not counting for much here. And again, we're deciding to yeah, yeah. shoot in the dirt. Okay. Uh, let's try popping up another... Mm, not quite as effective as it was the first time. And now we're going to watch our own guys basically get cut up by uh, their new friend up there. Oh, God. Oh. As if elites weren't bad enough. All right, so they finally decided to return fire at our mercenaries. And at least one of them uh, was smart enough to decide this was not a good area to hang out in. 
Anybody want to shoot back at him? You know, he's right, right there. No, no, okay. Ooh. So far, our militia have been the ones to lay out two of those guys. I'm not complaining one bit. Alright, getting up to the fence line. Nice, nice. Okay, how are we looking here? Strong, healthy, strong. Haven't taken any incoming hits yet. Oh, that guy's wounded from the automatic fire earlier. Yeah, mostly these guys just uh, getting the crap knocked out of them for now. All right. You got my ear. Dying, healthy, healthy, healthy. We'll yes. see how this goes. Gonna have to move up a little bit again. And I don't think the odds of us really. Uh, Connecting with another character in the prone are all that great. Yeah, yeah. yeah I kind of figured. A little bit. Mad dog, you don't see anybody. Well, that's something. So I haven't emptied the mag yet. All right. Ready. Not that I'm complaining. All right, let's see here. Everybody healthy, he's strong. This guy's wounded. Let's see if maybe we can't finish him. Mm, Present. Not quite. Nope. And double no. Okay. Yes. Dimitri, you are not spotting anybody from back there. And again, all we can see is the guy lying in the throne with virtually no chance of hitting him. What's up? Gasket's got good eyes on everybody from back here, though. Let's go ahead and move him up in line with everyone else. And then not have enough AP to actually take a shot. Present. That was my plan all along. You got my ear. Wasn't it a good one? I sure thought so. Alright, well, I took some shots at him. Not really expecting much. <sighs> and not really getting much. Okay. Again, watching uh, those guys up north getting kind of cut up by the elites. No real surprise there. Hello? Oh, God. Hmm. I wouldn't uh, complain if his decision to run into his own mustard gas turned out to be a terrible one. Alright, that's just smoke. Even if he is fully gas masked up, which I am assuming he is... Uh, the mustard gas does degrade uh, basically the filter very quickly, so the condition on your gas mask starts tanking once you get into it. And uh, really like a few turns of standing in a cloud can uh, start, to you got my ear. start to get the condition of the gas mask low enough that you'll start taking damage. Okay. Well, with the smoke, sort yes. of uh, including the vision of these characters like I, I believe smoke is infinitely high like um, I, I don't think there's really anything above where the smoke lies so uh, it should be obstructing most of the view of characters like Miguel really? and Razor so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get them an opportunity to really move up here Present. with their athletics trade and everything uh, they're gonna be good at closing that kind of range quickly What's up? And then these guys to move gotcha. up as well. You know, the alternative, of course, would be to just you got my ear. sit there waiting for the smoke to dissipate, Roger. as we're not going to be able to take many shots at these guys as long as they're obscured by it. Yes. Hmm. Right Worried about here. Well, we briefly saw him, but then he went away. Okay, yeah, the dying one. Not even close. Yeah, yeah. All right. That dog. All right, that'll do it for us. Ooh. That is some crazy amount of damage he was able to do there. Uh, and as you can see, 
It really only seemed like four guys, but they are just tearing us up up there. Done the job, because now you're gonna die. Nope. Dead meat. Uh, that ain't good. Good. We will all die together. Hmm. Turkeys. Damn. Well, where did you folk all come from? Hmm. Oh god. Okay. Uh, that is bad, but not unrecoverable. I think that was Gumpy that, like, ended up in the tear gas. I hope it was. He's, like, luckily the only person wearing a gas mask. Oh, come on. This is actually quite tense for me to figure out um, how much AP we come into the next round with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nope. That was Gasket. Lovely. Uh, Gasket, you don't have a gas mask. Okay, well then. <clears throat> That's somewhat troubling. Although you did make a real stupid decision and get way too close to a guy with a fully automatic shotgun. I'm not really sure. You know what? The only smart decision okay. to make here is to pull out of this entirely. Yes. Like, if I pull out of this, I don't mean the entire fight, but this area. They've just Present. marked our characters for a mortar strike. Yes. And so I don't want to be anywhere near this area when it lands. Ready. I really just want to get out of here. I think that should be far enough for them. Yes. Okay. You got my ear. And then Ira, you're gonna do the same. All right. So this should be coming in on the next turn. Get everybody. Yeah, yeah. Turned around. Try to have them at least crouch. You got my ear. Yes. Nope. Not enough to turn around. Not enough to crouch. Okay. And likewise, same for you. What's up? And gasket course laying in the tear gas not much you can do uh i wonder can i get up no still can't change stance okay i'm sorry gasket i wish you the best of luck we'll be praying for you buddy why is everyone always shooting at me i know right what's everybody got against gasket he's a nice guy Jeez. All right. Noise has me cautious. Noise from the west. There. Oh man, if that could have hit, especially if that could have hit and knocked him back into the mustard gas. Awesome. Again, he might not ever end up taking damage from it, but it could happen. Also, I'm not sure if the militia. AI handles the uh, mortar strike call in very well. They don't really appear to have cared that it's coming, as some characters ran towards it, some ran away from it. Uh. Hmm. Okay, uh, so yeah, Gasket uh, <laughs> took a bit of damage. Uh, also, he got seriously pinned down. The damage really wasn't as bad as it could have been. Uh, but he, he didn't have anything land right on top of him. Uh, largely, they came in right in this area. Lucky these guys didn't get caught by it. And we did actually even have you got my one of the uh, enemy kind enough to get shot there. Yeah, yeah. So let's see about getting Mad Dog over here. Yes. Dimitri... Can back him up. I forget. I forget again. Oh, that's unfortunate. You got my ear. And then Ira up to here. Present. All right. Basically, we're reversing our uh, previous turn and uh, just getting all of our characters back into a position where they'll be able to fight again. Now, Razor, you are a bit more exposed now than I am 
really comfortable with. Yes. But I think things are going to work out okay for us. Once this smoke dissipates, uh, we're likely to immediately spot some enemies there. All right, I think that should do it for this turn. Of course, we're still getting our nose bloodied up here by the uh, elites. Oh, jeez. He is cutting people down. Yeah, his elite buddies are... Oh, really? I was pretty sure there was a limit on how frequently you could do that. <sighs> but uh, I guess I'm wrong. As though uh, Mr. Miniboss plus... <laughs> plus his uh, flanking elite friends weren't enough. They've now got artillery strikes coming yeah. for them. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That's sarcasm, by the way, just in case you couldn't tell. Alright. That is well within his range. I'm just going to have him take a knee for some stabilization. And then, you know, miss horribly. Yes. That was the plan all along. Dimitri, can you clean up this mess? No damage? Oh man, he's using HP rounds too. That is probably why. You got my ear. Ira, thank you. Extra thank you. Take that! Okay, I would really love this. Also, for the record, this guy spotted for this mortar call. Um, I mean, there's a building between them. I just, I think that's a little bit silly. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? Really? Obviously, some aspects of that mechanic are not yes. perfect. Hmm. Yeah, I think it, you know, Friendly. would make an awful lot of sense if uh, characters could only call in Curse. strikes on areas that they can see. After all, they're supposed to be spotting for uh, the artillery fire. Now, this isn't really the way this works. You don't, like, shoot one round, but maybe you could. It's not wrong. Um, if your first round was that accurate... You could call in, you know, the fire for effect right after it. Oh, jeez. Uh, our uh, militia up north are probably not going to last too many more turns. Especially not with brilliant tactical decisions Noise like that being made. Rats. Yes. All right, somebody emerged from the smoke. That's the last decision he'll ever be making. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. Okay, this was supposed to be easy. I was not expecting him. Of course, nobody ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. Just like nobody ever expects Mike. <laughs> Wow. Well, that's one of those things I'd kind of meant to avoid, which was breaking the fence, but they did it for us, and uh, wounded, dying, critical. Alright, so it's basically her against the three of them. She'll probably die this round. Like, these guys are easily going, he's still in excellent condition, so obviously the mustard gas did nothing to him. Um, Hmm. We're probably looking at... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if those three guys kill all four of them uh, this turn. We've got one more wounded one right there. So they're definitely getting Ready. cut up pretty mercilessly yes. there. We should at least be able to get a kill off this guy, though. Yeah, there we go. Dying. That's something, at least. Present. Uh, Gumpy, what do you got for me? A whole lot of missing. That's what you got for me. You got my ear. Alright. Ira. Anything? You know what? I'm gonna go full auto with a four round burst with this guy. And I do that yeah, yeah. to try to get these guys yes. moved up to him. 
hell. Oh, there's a second one right there. Of course there is. Ready. You know what? Full auto. Six rounds. Left. Okay. Uh, that probably did its job. Namely to uh, keep his head down. Alright, I'm going in that turn. No problem. Yep. We show. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well, they just eliminated all of those guys. Uh, the two here, militia hit in the chest, militia hit in the shoulder. Uh, those were two characters that were already downed, and so they didn't have any visibility of what was happening around them. But uh, they just got killed, too. Yeah. Oh, no, they haven't. Never mind. Um, they just got shot. They still just don't have any visibility around them. He's dying, he's critical, and they killed those two. Yep, they are... Cutting yes. through some troops up there like hot knives through butter. That is super reassuring. At least Ready. all the smoke that came down has afforded us the opportunity to get into uh, relatively close range considering the kind yes. of weapons we've got going on here. Come on. Exactly. You got my ear! Thrilling damage. Uh, and Ira has really terrible chances to hit from back here. That's a little bit better. Mad Dog, what do you got for me? You're gonna need 48. Let's use like 12. Turn and shoot. Damn. Miss horribly. But at least the buckshot caused him to duck. Hmm. Yeah, no good. Okay. At this point, uh, you know, these are all red shirts here. I'm not expecting to lose to them by any means, but they can uh, do a little bit of damage. Oh, too close for comfort. Kind of terrified wow. that... Your whole life really flash before your eyes. Kind of terrified the bullets are already making their way down here from uh, up north. And our militia have clearly started ignoring what's going on over there. Uh, hopefully we can wrap these guys up quickly and then uh, focus on the reinforcements yes. that are coming in. That's pretty decent. Even without uh, killing him, the impact of the buckshot was enough to uh, you got my ear. sap all of his AP. So he should be an easy kill. There we go. Awesome. What's up? Gasket still cowering. Ready. Has not yet recovered to positive AP. Even all these turns later. Beautiful. Ooh yeah! Damn uh, gun load. A knife never runs out yes. of ammo. That's okay. Excellent! A knife also can't provide fully automatic Present. covering fire for your teammates, which is why you ran out of ammo there. I'm going to have him run up to here, largely because uh, I'm terrified that people are going to be coming from this way, like, sooner rather than later. Alright, survived it. Ooh, some very hard returning fire. I must be careful. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was a much shorter AI turn than I was expecting. And again, even if you can't hit him... That is going to provide yes. some excellent suppression and hopefully the ability for hmm, Dimitri to you get up there ear. with a kill. I'm on it. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Iro, what do you got? Yeah, both shots from the standing. Present. Okay. Not Ready. terribly surprised that didn't go my way. Oh, come on, Razor. Yes. I was counting on you there. Alright, Manuel, I'm going to be doing the same thing with you here, buddy. We, uh, actually, let's have you get prone. And then aim in. Okay. Good. Always got a pistol and not enough action points to even shoot it. Alright, these guys are down and out. It's just the handful of elites from the north. Yes! 
that are uh, yes. going to be the trouble. Yeah. Come on, there we go. Good show. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There should have been twelve. Hmm. So there might be up to four more yeah, of these yeah. guys. Okay. Well. You got it. Regardless, they have stopped you being my a threat for right now. And all I've got time to worry about is the right now. Yes. So we're going to get these guys all moving. Ready. Back in the direction uh, of the elites. And we're basically going to just set up like so. Um, Present. Give me... Let's get you up here too. Down to the prone. We're gonna need you got my ear. every advantage yes. that we can get. So the uh What's up? Um, so the bonuses to our own defense as well as our own chance to hit for being in the prone are definitely worthwhile here. Uh and I figure I've got yeah, something to say before you die. At most one more turn. Alright, so this is Mike. Hi, Mike. Your tempting fate. Okay. One chance to uh, talk to him, apparently. He didn't care much what we had to say. Oh, nice. Oh, Dead my meat. God. More bad news. Uh, so, uh, Manuel is hanging on by a thread. And I am. You got my ear. Oh, not even a thread. Man, I am blown away by that. So we shot him. We hit him. He shrugged it off as like five damage. And then a character wearing Tarawa vests and pants and a Spectra helmet lying in the prone got burst fired and killed immediately yeah i mean that sounds uh about like mike oh god all righty what's well, like i said oh come on gasket i'm really gonna need you to figure this out for me man you gotta get up eventually i know you're cowering yes. here but yeah yeah uh, all right, you got it. Mad Dog, head this way. Yes. Dimitri, head this He's way. Good. Ready. Jeez, Louise, I cannot believe that he just cut down Manuel like that. You know, like it just wasn't even a thought. All right. Uh, got a little bit more damage into him. Barely. Like those are the kind of you know you're. Wearing full armor, you take a shot from uh, an assault rifle, you take like three to five damage. You're like, okay, not a big deal. That That's what I expected to see there. Not a single burst. We showed up. Uh, but keeping up with the trends, basically anybody that uh, Mike puts in his crosshairs dies that turn. Uh, as Mike just unleashes... I'm bleeding. I mean, bad. Like the time I bit myself on the ankle. That's like a long story, though. What's up? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough time for that story right now, Gasket. Sorry, buddy. I say what. You are so low on AP uh, after feeling that incoming mortar strike. Not to mention sitting in some tear gas for a few turns. Uh, so we're gonna try to pull him up here and maybe deal with uh, the guys in the building along with that militia. While everybody else Ready. is focused on Mike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, everybody you that got it. Mike sets his sights on just dies in one turn as Present. he unleashes fully automatic hell on their position. And I have such an extremely low chance to hit him every time. Um, Ready. That's got a lot to do I'm sure with the level interaction Mike is a fairly high level you character got my ear. and he gets a, uh, a basically a bonus to not being hit by our own yes. characters because of it 
So if we can't get you maybe to like right here and drop down and sight in. Don't see him. You got my Ooh, ear. Okay. I already can't see him either. I'll tell you what, let's go full auto with this. And just try to suppress as much as we can. Guns out of bullets. Yeah, that's as much as we can. I can't hardly breathe. Wow, your whole life really does flash before your eyes. Jesus. Now Mike's just going for killing two characters in one round. You got my ear. Thankfully, he doesn't quite pull it off. Unfortunately, the bullets that connected with Ira left What's her. Up? No AP. And pretty much the same story for Gasket. Ugh. Okay. No more. Not enough to Ready. do anything. Okay. That's good. Even those little uh, tiny hits. Present. I mean, it's not like we're killing him at any kind of breakneck speed. Yes. But, at the very least, we're getting rid of his action points, and I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. No bullets! Okay. Empty the clip. Fair. Nice. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's hope that maybe this, uh, flanking militia unit is able to do some decent damage. Unfortunately, I think his escorts are going to be able to keep him safe. Alright. He only got off a couple of shots that turn, so that's at least something. Of course, uh, Mad Dog took a beating from one of the elites that we still need to worry about. What's up? Like, if Mike wasn't here, I would probably be super terrified of the uh, two elite characters that are up here. Instead... They've sort of become like, yes. eh, you know, I mean, they're elites, and that sucks and all, but uh, at the same time, the fact that we have, like, the elite of the elites sort of makes them a little paled in comparison. Mm, sorry about that, buddy. Uh, you really didn't mean to. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. What's up? Ready. Alright. Basically, so all the characters that I can't see him with, I'm just taking wild shots. So that the characters I can see him with get some opportunity yeah, yeah. for some well-aimed action. Jeez. I love the excitement. Should have done the job. Because now, you're going to die. You yeah, yeah. time, I guess. Alright, Razor, I really hope you can back up Ready. that post. And that it is, in fact, now time for him to die. I'm actually, I'm not going to take that shot. That has, like, no chance of hitting. I can't What's up? even aim with it. Uh, gasket, we're just going to have you chilling out here for a minute, buddy. Actually, I need to take one step back. Okay. Ready. Present. Gumpy, what do you got? Guns empty. <laughs> Oh, man. That's not quite what I was hoping for. Well, at least we've got enough AP to reload. And he has enough to take a pretty decent shot. Damn. Got a couple of them over his head. You got my ear. No friendlies in the way. Another big burst. Good, good. Yes. Decent suppression, at the very least. Uh, Dimitri... You know what, you can't see anybody, and I'm, I'm afraid to do another one of those shots, considering last time I just shot one of my own militia. Uh, so I'm going to get you up here and hopefully wait the turn. Uh, God. And we're back to Mike killing multiple characters every turn. Okay, that's not uh, exactly what I'm hoping for. Hell, yes. What are you doing? You're like our only flanking chance, and you're just you sitting there for multiple turns. Ready. <sighs> All right, this should be two fairly good shots this turn. Nothing. Can't even see him now. Okay. You got my ear. Hmm. Well, Ira, you are fully automatic support. 
Mad Dog, you are a buckshot. And What's that pretty much does it. We're going to continue to leave Gasket over here. Just in case anybody uh, steps out. I know there's a red shirt militia like somewhere back in there. Oh. Yes. And I feel like, you know, we really should be trying to maneuver. We're not in a great position. But I'm kind of hoping that we can do the fire element here while our uh, yes. I've been hit. While our militia buddies yeah, yeah. are kind enough to maneuver for us. Ready. That hasn't been working out super well, considering uh, basically every time our militia What's has up? stuck their head up, got my ear. it has been met by some pretty serious firepower. All right, tell you what. Um, excuse me? Like you refuse to shoot now? What does that mean? Oh my god. Ira ran out of energy after taking a single shot? Well, that was unexpected. What's up? Hmm. Present. Gumpy, you can at least see him again. Nada. Nada. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mad dog, you got nothing. Really? I'm like one square away from being able to see him. Damn. Indeed, I was. You know what? Let's try to maneuver you a little bit here. Won't be able to do anything this round, but. It, I'm hoping you can see him next turn. That would be pretty darn yes. swell. Hmm. All right, some more full auto. Not really getting it done though. Love the excitement. Yes. Hey, blood! Now I can finger paint. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it would take more AP than he has in order for him to take a shot. 23. Okay. Present. I would also like to point out that Mike's condition Ready. is still strong. Even though I've shot him roughly half a dozen times. I'm going to hold off on that. You Fairly poor quality shot again. Man. Ira, you are just action pointless, huh? What's up? Ready. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Well then, try for some more suppression. No bullets. And a reload. I would also really love for you to do something. <sighs> wow. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mike is ready. Butchering our squad at this point. Oh, God. Yep. Damn guns. Present. A knife never runs out of ammo. <sighs> yes? Yep. Okay. You got my ear. Ira, still nothing. Are you able to... Is this doing anything? Like, the canteen's at 1%, and I've been drinking it, and it has accomplished basically nothing, as far as I can tell. What's up? <sighs> Well, you know what? Gasket, we're in need of your services, sir. Yes? Hopefully he doesn't shoot the guy right in front of him. No. Wow. This might turn into... Uh... Oh, hey, you remembered there was a fight going on. What? <sighs> really? Gasket just collapsed on the rooftop. Can he drink? Yeah, it's having a similar no AP restored effect. Okay. Present. Well, that is wonderful. Uh, Mike is up and running. I don't have enough action yes. points to take a shot at him. Because why would I? You got my <sighs> ear. Okay. Fine. Oh, this could be big. Now we already know he's got a gas mask. You got my ear. This whole freaking mess. 
Just a whole freaking mess. Now, I'm not good with words. I thought this would be exciting. I thought I'd be working with professionals. How naive. Hmm. That's rough. What's up? Real rough. Uh, well, uh, let's see. Look Ira is ear. back in the fight. Mike at least has... I see. Out of bullets. Great. Yes. Uh, I would at least say Mike's vision of us is probably obscured. Of course, he's probably pretty likely to just stand up and run out of the smoke, but it's something. Oh, interesting. Fudge. He decided to stand up and run back. I think that might have been the sound of him reloading. Possibly he ran back to, like, pick up ammunition. Um... I wouldn't be terribly surprised if All he right. had burned through, uh, like, a few mags of assault rifle ammo, considering how many rounds he's been putting into us since he got here. <sighs> Ira, Ira, Ira. Hmm. I think similarly I'm going to have her drop back. The pace is too much. I have to slow down. Wow. I'm here. Yes? Alright. At this point, I would be pretty pleased if uh, good. we even managed to live through this sector. Any of us. Uh. Well. Hmm. Mike has switched to a pistol. Curious. Yes. Maybe he is having ammo trouble. Except Dimitri, go ahead and drop into the prone. Can't do it. What's up? All right, gasket. I'm hoping your AP holds up. You got my ear. Or not your AP, but your energy bar, rather. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Ira has, of course, become very dejected, and I can't blame her. Jesus, man. Like, 30 squares away with a pistol just absolutely mercs Dimitri. I'm here. What you want? Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to switch to the shotgun. Can't have him move up that far. I'm here. Okay, she can see. Terrible chance to hit from there, though. What's it going to take? 28, so we can move up like 12. Take it. That's something. Shoot. Sheesh. I'm here. Okay. What's up? Well, you know what, Gasket? I really wish you had a grenade grenade. Uh, but this is going to have to do. We're going to see about... Oh, can you not throw it off the top of the building? Can't make it that far, huh? Alright, well, run up a little bit. Uh, that'll leave you at 34. Yep, we can hit there. Going for it. Shoot! It doesn't go off. Yeah, it's been about the luck I've had so far. I'm here. All right. Uh, she can see. She can see Mike. Mike is standing. Is within range. Hmm. Um. So if she fully aims, there's a zero percent chance to hit. Can move her up just a little bit. <gasps> then she's gonna collapse. Okay. Well, that pretty much sorted that out then. It's not exactly what I was trying to do. Poor Dimitri. He fought for his oh. I'm here. Fudge. Oh, man. What you want? Things just constantly getting better here. Oh, he doesn't have enough AP to hit with that. I'll tell you what. Let's try something like this then. Headshot from right here. Doesn't do it. Can't change stance. All right. Ooh. 
And Mike is still absolutely oh, butchering yeah. people with a pistol. What's up? All right, let's try the shotgun. It takes 38 AP, which we do not have. I'll side in for next I'm turn. I'm here. Then. Ira can't get up. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that does it for gasket. I'm here. All right, Ira is back on her feet. Ira would need to pretty much single-handedly kill him, and she didn't even manage to hit him. And that takes out the rest of our squad. Ooh, that is rough. Like, not even Baleem rough. That is like, I'm not entirely sure what I would have done differently. Um, it's going to take some reflection, to be sure. Uh, we've lost our B squad entirely. We've got about 37,000. Um, so I should be able to rehire... Uh, like an entire group of MERC mercs um, and then probably outfit them. We're definitely want to get it, going to want to get back to the Grum sector uh, to get their equipment as fast as possible though as there's a ton of stuff there uh, that is fairly high quality now. Oh, and that really leaves us with, uh, well, let's check out what that leaves us with actually. All right, so our uh, ice cream truck friends are coming down. They've really only just gotten started. Um, they'll arrive here in about an hour or so, and they can move to meet up in uh, in Baleem. Uh, next up would be Alma. Uh, we could just leave Grum to the carrion birds for a while until we can uh, regrow a new squad. Man, some hard-fought battles, some hard losses there. I don't really know what to say. Uh, I'll be interested to see everybody's comments. Um, you know, it's, it's always interesting, you know, to rewatch with a, uh, a lens on what would have happened in the future. I'm sure the next time I see this and rewatch it myself, uh, there'll be some pivotal moments that I think, you know, if only I would have uh, maneuvered differently here, if I'd have moved, you know, everybody up to the buildings to maybe get closer to, uh, to Mike and his group. Uh, instead of trying to have that sort of long-range battle with them, maybe things would have been different. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll have to find that out on uh, the rewatch as uh, it did not strike me in the moment. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even with uh, the setbacks that it certainly came with. Uh, if you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos just like this on my channel all the time. Oh, leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos, and I will catch you guys next time.